Working with Automata is so special because it's like time travel. We're temporary custodians of these pieces. They're like dolls that can come to life when you're a child and you talk to your doll. It doesn't do anything back, but these they do. My name's Michael. And my name's Maria. Yeah. Start. We're husband and wife team. We repair mechanical antiques, but specialising in French automata of the 19th century. We live in the northeast of Scotland, here near Findhorn, but we started the business in London 50, well, 15 years ago was when we moved. We've been going for 25 years. This is Heba. She was made in 1880 by Parisian maker Vichy and she's a bust of an automaton. So she's beautiful papier-mâché body, arms and head with real human hair and her hands are what I love particularly. They're really beautifully sculpted and they strum away at her invisible heart which is long gone, long missing. She's in, a, in an unrestored state, which is wonderful because we can see her. We can see her arms and her body. We can see how she works. We can see the mechanism from the back. And even in the front, there's a hole where her heart would be. And you can just see her musical movement sticking out. This large automaton, about two feet tall, is of a man leaning against an oversized book. But what's special about this figure is he has the head of a full moon. It's a man in the moon face. So it's largely oversized. It's like a, a distortion, a psychological distortion. This automaton is the Mephistopheles magician. It's a cups and balls magician, and he's about a figure about two feet tall. This figure is special because he's modeled as Mephistopheles. He's in league with the devil, and he's producing his magic, magic objects underneath two silver cups in front of him. When you wind him up, he looks around to right and left, and then his mouth moves. He's doing what magicians call the patter. He's diverting your attention. And as he lifts each cup in turn, there's a different object under each of them. The clothes he's wearing are of the finest quality velvet and silk. Are we sad to see the automata go when we sell them? Well, no, because I regard it as an opportunity to, to search out and buy more automaton and, and bring them back to life. But I think Maria... I hate selling them. They're like family, a lot of them. But just as all their owners, we are temporary custodians, for they will live longer than us, we hope. We don't have to daydream an alternative reality. Yeah, we, we have an alternative reality <laughs> with these automata and it's real and they're all around us. <laughs>